This is WPTV. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you for watching. Welcome to Very Late. I'm Vaughn Leek. And over there is my sidekick, Isabel Berriteri. What's up, Isabel? Wouldn't you like to know? Okay. <laughs> uh, well, without further ado, let's see what's happening. Halloween just passed on Monday, and a lot of kids went trick-or-treating. I actually ran into this group of middle schoolers going through puberty, and a few of them were trying to go facial hair. They said they were dressed as me. But now that Halloween is over, it's officially No Shave November, which will be fairly easy for me, as you can tell. <laughs> it's funny because it's true. Well, you're one to talk, mustache. At least I have facial hair to get rid of. It's not the only thing you need to get rid of. What else? This job? <laughs> March it to the unemployment <laughs> office. Anyway, guys, Halloween is over, and that means it's damn near Christmas time. So, our musical guest tonight, here to perform her hit song, All I, uh, All I Want for Christmas is You, Mariah Carey. Can we, can we afford that? We can afford Mariah Carey. We can afford kitchens. And, <laughs> yeah, if you, know, if you know what I'm saying. <laughs> no, we know Nick Cannon can afford that, though, uh, with all the child support he's paying. Talk about a ho, 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 am I right? And I know... <laughs> And I know that a lot of people might be upset about Halloween being over, but good news for you. If you enjoy horror and being scared, then don't worry because Election Day is Tuesday. <laughs> Midterm elections are next week and former NFL player Herschel Walker is catching heat in this race for allegedly being against abortions. Although he offered to pay for one just a few years ago. Just like, you know, I get, just like I'm against Chick-fil-A, but do you, King? Can somebody, can you explain that joke, please? Oh, yeah. It's because Chick-fil-A. Is it because I'm black? No. That's a genuine question. No. I really need to get to the bottom of this. It's because Chick-fil-A is homophobic, mm -hmm. but also yummy. So it's like. So is the comparison the abortions because he because he's like, says that he's against them, but then got. Yeah. OK. This is why we have rehearsals. <laughs> I'll come to the meetings one day. <laughs> and moving on to entertainment news. This is big, big news out of Disney. They just revealed their first plus size heroine in a short film called Reflect. I think that this is huge. Yeah, go women. <laughs> About time the big girls uh, be on the big screen. When does it, when does it drop in theaters? Isabel, Isabel, I hate to break it to you, but there's actually nothing dropping. It's actually not even a feature film. It's, it's going to be a six minute short. Damn. Well, I mean, I, it's still good news. A plus size girl getting to tell her story, no matter how big or small the role is. I can't wait to hear the inspirational messages she has. Uh, Isabel, hate to break it to you, but uh, apparently she doesn't have any lines in the film either. No lines? What the hell? I mean, this is still good news, though. It's plus size representation. And I'm sure that this project is going to outweigh anything Disney's done before. It's going to be huge. You know what? Whatever. Can you at least tell me, like, where we can go watch it? Disney Pixar? Disney Channel? Better. Disney Plus. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be big. It's going to be huge. <laughs> uh, guys, anyway, uh, <laughs> speaking of things that are big, this is a big story. <laughs> I'm sure we've all heard about the racist and anti-Semitic comments Kanye West has been making lately. And he's actually been dropped by e almost every organization imaginable. It's crazy. Foot Locker, Balenciaga. I heard that after Adidas dropped him, he went to Skechers to see if they would work with him. We were actually able to see the, uh, the idea that Kanye pitched to Skechers. Can we see that, please? Are those Yeezy Twinkle Toes? <laughs> I think so. Did you, Twinkle Toes, I never had a pair of Twinkle Toes. I don't think I ever went to Skechers. I was never that guy. I was more, when I was a kid, I was more like a, a Walmart okay. type dude. I had a pair of Twinkle Toes. Everything sparkled and glowed. And glows. Elon Musk now officially owns Twitter and Tesla and SpaceX and Mars and my social security number and my identity and my soul. Look, he actually owns the bane of all of our existences, okay? If you think you ever owned anything in your life, it's actually property of Elon. So get it together. <laughs> In other news, Billie Eilish, going from Elon Musk to Billie Eilish, is <laughs> only on my show. Uh, Billie Eilish is dating the lead singer of The Neighborhood, Jesse Rutherford. And a lot of people are online talking about this because she's 20 years old and he's 31. And apparently they met when she was like 15 years old. Talk about daddy issues, am I right? <laughs> Looks like he's the bad guy now. <laughs> <laughs> They're both songs, if you didn't catch that. In other news, YouTube announced that they're allowing doctors and nurses to apply for their videos to be labeled as reliable. If you ask me, I just think it should be left to anti-vax vegans. You know, 
I don't know if you can tell. I was waiting for you to notice it. I just started this all water diet and it's doing great for my curves, for my figure. I've never looked better. You have. I've never, no, I, this, is, this is me and my prime. Finally, late night host James Corden was in the headlines the past couple of weeks after an eggy comment he made to some servers at a restaurant in New York. He said that, oh, uh, Isabel, actually, I think you should take this one. Is it, is it because I'm a woman? Is it because you think only women belong in the kitchen? No, Isabel, I never said that. I don't think that you, I, I like to go in the kitchen sometimes. I just don't think that you should. Why you don't, you make you don't think I should belong in the kitchen? I don't. I you didn't think say I that. can't because I'm a woman. I can't do things. That's definitely not why I think you don't belong in the kitchen. But <laughs> Sasson, well, I'll allow me. <laughs> Adobo. <laughs> James Corden said, "You can't do your job. You can't do your job. Maybe I should go into the kitchen and cook the omelet myself." He was banned, unbanned, and then banned again from this restaurant. He's the first celebrity to be 86th from the restaurant. I guess he's not all he's cracked up to be. 